Let's take a look at the triceps brachii muscle on the right side of the body. We have our client, Mary Ann, standing here, facing away from the camera, so we have a posterior view of her right upper extremity. Triceps brachii means a three-headed muscle that overlies the brachium. The brachium is the arm, the upper arm, the humerus. Tri means three, sep means head. There are three heads, a medial head, a lateral head, and a long head. The long head is longer. It crosses the shoulder joint, so it attaches onto the scapula. It attaches onto the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula, which is just below the glenoid fossa of the scapula. And it runs down distally, crossing the shoulder joint posteriorly and medially. It joins the lateral and medial heads. The lateral head attaches to the proximal one-third of the posterior shaft, and as its name states, lateral head on the lateral posterior surface. The medial head attaches to the distal two-thirds of the posterior shaft of the humerus. Its name is medial head, so it clearly also would be on the medial side of the posterior shaft. But as it attaches farther down distally, it's on medial and lateral sides. So all three heads, the long head, lateral head, and medial head, come together to have one common belly in the middle to distal uh, posterior side of the arm, and all three heads cross the elbow joint together on the posterior side to attach onto the olecranon process of the ulna. Now, to take a look at the joint actions, it would be easier if we have a lateral view, so let's switch a little bit, Marianne. I'll come over here, just take a step in a bit, right here, good. So all three heads cross the elbow joint posteriorly, therefore all three heads, if we had a position of flexion of the forearm at the elbow joint, could create extension at the elbow joint. So can you show us that, Marianne? Great, now relax there for a moment. Now, the medial and lateral heads can only do extension at the elbow joint. But the long head also crosses the shoulder glenohumeral joint. So it can move the elbow joint into extension and it can move the shoulder joint. So let's have you turn just a little bit there, about a 45 degree angle. Because the long head crosses the shoulder joint posteriorly, it can create extension of the arm at the shoulder joint. Can you show us that? And relax back. And because it crosses the shoulder joint on the medial side, it can create a deduction, adduction of the arm at the shoulder. And now can you show us that? Okay, relax there. But of course, the long head has one line of pull across the shoulder joint, so it has one oblique plane motion pattern, which would be a combination of extension and adduction. And go ahead and show us that, Marianne. Perfect, relax there. And of course, the long head has one line of pull, including across the elbow joint. So it really, if we started in elbow joint flexion and out here, it would do extension, adduction of the shoulder joint, and extension at the elbow joint. So there's a nice exploration from anatomic position, basically, of the long head, medial, and lateral heads of the triceps brachii on the right side of the body. But there is another joint action that is possible for triceps brachii. And for this, I think we're going to go back to our original position. I'll come over here. You come right over here. If we start with a person in 90 degrees of abduction of the arm at the shoulder joint, because there are so many functional movements that occur when the arm is horizontally at 90 degrees of abduction, there are special names given to the motions. This position of movement here, this movement here, is horizontal flexion or horizontal a deduction, adduction of the arm at the shoulder joint, and then going back the other way would be horizontal extension or horizontal abduction, abduction of the arm at the shoulder joint. Normally, we use the terms horizontal flexion and horizontal extension, so we'll work with those. The long head of the triceps brachii, when we're up at 90 degrees of abduction, crosses the shoulder joint to have a nice line of pull to create horizontal extension 
of the arm at the shoulder joint, and would you just go ahead and shoulder, show us that? Wonderful. And of course, it still can extend the elbow joint. So if we started with elbow joint flexion and we started with some horizontal flexion of the arm at the shoulder, the long head of the triceps brachii would horizontally extend the shoulder while it extended the elbow joint. So there is our exploration of the joint actions of the triceps brachii muscle.